I'm going to end the mass of agony. Empire Transit makes that same thing happen. Uh, they park their trucks up, back up against the creek, and then they wash them out in the concrete. You just go in the creek. Wow. It's a big, big problem. Uh, and recently there was people who were out here doing balloon mapping, where they attach a, a camera to a balloon, and they were taking pictures of the area, kind of very close to the ground aerial photos, and they saw there was a very distinct plume coming from this company, this property in the creek. Kind of all the cloudiness in the water and concrete. Um, got the salt shed for uh, Department of Sanitation. Uh, 56 Road over Queens. It used to be a bridge here called the, I think it was called the Penny Street Bridge. Um, you can even see, you know, you can see the, uh, the pilings that were part of it. Dad over there is another construction of demolition debris, fill material. I think it's fill. Transportation. Um, it seems like that pile of dirt never gets moved because that entire vegetation is thrown on top of it. Which one? Over there. <laughs> and uh, over there, that building with the blue stripe across the top of it, that's Restaurant Depot. And that property was Phelps Dodge. Phelps Dodge was a copper refiner. They made copper and they made uh, uh, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid was used the, by the refining industry as well as a, a kind of a basic component in much of the chemical industry even today, I think. Yeah. Um, and they're one of the parties that the Attorney General uh, filed a, you know, that they basically were trying to work out some sort of agreement about cleaning up Newtown Creek and uh, now they're negotiating with the EPA about their responsibility for cleaning up the creek. Uh, supposedly they used to uh, take the kind of molten leftover materials and actually dump them on their property to fill in the creek and create more land for themselves. So, and uh, they uh, maintain ownership over the kind of front strip where the bulkhead is, uh, and they run a uh, <coughs> public system over there. Can you see they this plume tried here? They to the post office. Yeah, they sold it to the post office, and the post office uh, sued them to make, it, make them take it back. And then they sold it to uh, the guy, Philip Glass, who runs a trucking company in the area. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's, everybody has their own little uh, area of authority. So the EPA is only involved now because of the Superfund. Uh -huh. And the reason that they got involved was because the uh, Department of Environmental Conservation for the state asked yeah. the EPA to get involved. They said it was beyond their capacities, beyond their resources, both the Gowanus and Newtown Creek. And the EPA, they ran a process, they, they do a study, and then they nominate it, and then they say, yes, it can't be a Superfund site. So EPA is responsible for remediating the sediments in Newtown Creek, for remediating huh. Newtown Creek. They're only responsible for looking at upland properties, shoreline properties, if the groundwater from those sites is impacting the creek. Uh, so that would obviously be the case with a lot of these properties that are leaking oil or other contaminants. Um, and then DEC is responsible for running the uh, Brownfield Cleanup Program and the Super, State Superfund Program. And so there's some properties around the creek that are rolled in those. Superfund properties are normally ones that don't have an entity that either wants to develop them or who can be really responsible for cleaning them up. And so they come in and they say, we're going to sue you unless you do the cleanup. Um, and then Brownfield is when there's a party who actually is interested in redeveloping the property and they get tax credits and other incentives like liability waivers for going through the Brownfield Cleanup Program. Uh, DEP will come into play when you're dealing with water quality issues in the sewage treatment facility and the combined sewer <coughs> overflow outfalls. And so we're really dealing with all three of those agencies uh, on a pretty regular basis now. 